Okay. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Life is life is good. Life is normal. Life is everything. So we've got a problem. Uh, if you notice, the soundtrack sounds a little bit different for those of you not watching the stream that haven't already heard this. I guess let's sell our our pithy amount of stuff. Um. So the soundtrack for this game is getting claimed by Orchard Music. Now they might actually have like the the right to distribute it or whatever, but they don't actually have the right to go after YouTube videos for it. Uh, but they're going to do that do it anyway because that's what Orchard Music does, and I kind of hate them. Uh, so as such, we're going to be listening to OC Remix until the uh, developers of the game can get back to me and and kind of solve the problem on my end. Can I? I can't destroy it. That sucks. I was really hoping I could break it. Here's a question. If I stand right here... Okay, I won't get hit. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, they might they might have some right to the music, but they don't have the right to, to claim my videos. That's more or less just the way it works. Hey, sweet. That helps out. Uh, so as a result, I'm just going to turn off the game music, uh, more or less to protect myself, until things get sorted. Uh, so we're going to be listening to OC Remix until then. Uh, not a big deal. Uh, but it's super frustrating from my perspective, because I have permission for it, but I have to now fight a company uh, that I've fought many times before, because they're copyright trolls and YouTube just lets them do, do their thing, because YouTube can't just say no more, because then YouTube is in uh, more or less copyright vi- not copyright violation, but YouTube opens itself up for, uh, for a lawsuit from an uh, actual copyright holder, and from like the actual copyright holder and that's a whole bag of worms that they are terrified of doing they've already had the adpocalypse happen and if they suddenly have to do more than they already do uh to give copyright protection to like the actual copyright holders youtube is kind of boned they don't actually make as much money as everybody thinks they do so they're kind of in this like awkward state where they more or less just have to negotiate with terrorists at all times i don't know whatever google has deep pro pockets. Google has deep pockets. YouTube does not. Uh, so this is this is a this is a point of contention in kind of the industry. YouTube is fairly wealthy or not youth, YouTube. Google is fairly wealthy, but the moment a uh, a product becomes un unpopular or unprofitable, it uh, it is no longer worth it for them to to keep it going. Uh, Google Wave, for example, was not profitable at all and they they killed that real quick uh even though it was awesome i really liked google wave i thought it was uh probably one of the better um uh, like kind of sort of chat services out there it was a little bit weird uh but it had some like great great merits and i really enjoyed using it uh if i could have used it to get rid of the lava spitter well maybe i can Okay, can the very least get rid of that one and this one here. Uh, let's see, can I? I can't get back up here. That grappling hook is just such a. No, I'm not going to be able to hit that. Grappling hook is such a nice, nice little feature to get along the way. Google Plus is still happening. It's because they're still getting personal information from people. As long as Google has like a, a tool to get more personal information from folks, they will absolutely, positively keep that alive. Uh, for as long as possible, because, I mean, they they thrive based on getting your information and figuring out how to sell ads to you, more or less. I mean, obviously, that's kind of the, that's kind of the, like, super limited approach and so on and so forth, but still. But yeah, so YouTube's kind of stuck in this, like, rock hard place situation, uh, where they can't really afford to protect its YouTubers, um, and they can't really, like, put in better systems in part because YouTube's kind of lazy they don't they don't want to commit to to new features that fast because if they mess it up they're doomed uh, and also you know uh, why broke or why why uh, why fix what isn't fully broken right uh, at least that's as far as I've, I've seen along the way here but uh, but so sadly I'm I'm kind of at the mercy here where, like, the soundtrack for this game is absolutely, absolutely not like Orchard Music's, but because, but because they say it is, it is, until, uh, until YouTube can be convinced otherwise. And YouTube generally just leaves it up to 
machines. Uh, effectively, what happens when I get a content ID match? It's not a copyright strike. Uh, that is that is something to uh, that is something to point out. Oop, ow, 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 ow. We gotta get out of here. I'm taking too much damage. Uh, so copyright strikes are something completely different. Uh, though they can and will happen. Um, but a copyright strike is where where a developer is like, no, like you're you're not allowed to use whatever you're trying to use, uh, be it this game, this music, any number of things. Um, they just say no, and they take down your video. And generally, uh, generally you get a strike, and three strikes are out, and stuff like that. It's not a perfect system, but. It mostly works as intended. The only problem is every once in a while, uh, not somebody, like, abuses the system. But every once in a while, things just get kind of, uh, shitty, uh, for me. And one of the ways is by people who kind of, kind of have a claim to the video, uh, to the content in a video. And they're like, okay, because we kind of have a claim, we now have every claim and nobody can stop us except for the the express copyright holders and even then not always uh the the copyright holder for vvvv for example uh took down the distributor for vvvv actually took down vvv's official uh like youtube channel and a couple other a couple other things it was pretty bad actually and it took them a long time for, like, VVVV to go back up, if I remember right. And the main thing is, YouTube can't really, like, stop this and say, like, you know, no, we're not going to, we're not going to let you do this anymore. Because if they do, and they prevent an actual copyright holder from, um, if they prevent an actual copyright holder from, you know, fi protecting their IP, then YouTube gets sued, loses, and has to pay a lot of money, and they're, they're afraid of doing that. Because uh, YouTube is kind of this awkward Wild West. And since there ha haven't been any proper legal settlements at all for this business uh, so far, we're generally never going to run into a whole lot of, like, conclusive anything. So it's, it's just going to be hoping. Oh, uh, well, I guess it's still there. Okay, let's go down a bit. Oh, we have, we have a little uh, KV dungeon. We'll do that. Uh, class action lawsuit would work, maybe. So the problem is, uh, and this is, oh, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to wait on that. I can't grappling hook this. The problem is suing YouTube isn't really a wise maneuver, because if I, for example, if I were to sue YouTube, okay. If I were to sue YouTube, they would, um... They would probably ban me from YouTube. Uh, they might not, but I'm not valuable enough uh, for YouTube to keep around. So even if... I'm gonna try something. No. It looks like there's a secret up there, but I can't... I can't actually tell. Okay, this... is... neat. Oh, I got it. This is really cool. I don't know if I'm going to find the secret in here. Honestly, I think I might leave a lot of the secret finding uh, to later. Much later, probably. I just kind of want to get through half of these, get the upgrade cogs, and then book it, because shit's scary in here. Uh, behind the first... Climb the wall. Okay. I'll, I'll try and do that. Little bit of damage. Not a big deal. Oh, right there. Yeah. I see what you mean. Oh. This is sketchy. You're correct though. Yeah, thanks for pointing this out. I was not was not immediately uh able to figure it out. Well, we can try this again. I probably should have gone the other way though. But I guess if I die, I've already gotten the stuff. Ow. Got it. I guess I might have been able to grappling hook, but that's a that's okay. 
Um, but yeah, so YouTube is afraid of getting sued, mainly from the copyright holders. YouTube is not really afraid of getting sued by YouTubers, because generally, uh, for me to say sue YouTube, uh, and say like, hey, you erroneously, you know, gave this other person, uh, all the, all the, uh, the ad rev, uh, YouTube could very easily turn around and, and not sue me, but, uh, they could easily turn around and just ban my channel. Uh, which is, of course, like, not something, uh, I can afford, obviously. I'm not, I am not nearly wealthy enough to more or less sacrifice my channel for the greater good at this point in time. Eventually, I could, I could see some YouTubers being, like, super crazy wealthy and just being like, you know what, no, let's, let's fix this system, uh, in the most expensive way possible. There have been a couple of, uh, of cases so far that have been, uh, kind of helpful. Like, um... The whole H3H3 thing, uh, proving that their videos were parody. Um, but unfortunately, that sort of stuff is few far between and generally very expensive. I mean, they, they spent a couple hundred thousand dollars on that court case, I believe. Uh, which was brutal. And... And, like, really took a number on them. And so, like, for someone as basic and, like... Uh, and small as I am, it's not worth it, especially for, like, the ad rev for, like, a tiny video. If I was losing out, like, on millions of views on ad rev, I could see it. There's gotta be something up there. Wait. There we go. Aha! Is there anything up here? I have no idea. What is up here? There's something up here. Well, this is cool. Whatever it is. Aha! We got a weird looking stone added to my collection. I was really curious. I was like, there's got to be some kind of weird secret up here. Ow. Well, uh... I guess I'll take the pneumatic tube for a second. And then we'll go back and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, in my case, I'm more or less just kind of at the mercy of everything until things get solved. So in this case, that's why we're listening to this music instead of the other music. Uh, but I just figured I'd kind of mention some of this so people kind of understand where I'm coming from. Because uh, there's a lot of like weird information that gets spread around whenever it comes to... Uh, well, yeah, there's a lot of weird information that gets spread around when it comes to copyright claims and so on and so forth. Okay. Oh. Ow, stupid contact damage. Oh, I can stunlock him. Why ain't that handy? Okay, let's keep going around. But yeah, I mean, it's it's one of those where it's getting a lot better. Uh, as well. I used to have a lot of problems with uh, YouTube just taking away monetization for everything. Uh, back in the day when I was sub a thousand subscribers, or pretty close to a thousand subscribers, I think I had 900 something. Uh, all of my videos were demonetized. I think this is actually when I was starting to demo uh, starting to actually properly monetize my videos. Ow. Okay. I guess trying to time that doesn't work when the middle one goes faster. I was originally starting to monetize my videos, and lo and behold, YouTube's like, "No, you don't have the cop." Shit. Uh, you don't have the uh, the copyright for this. You can't. Uh, even though like. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, for the most part, Ed McMillan was very much just like, yeah, a anybody can monetize, uh, videos on, like, Binding of Isaac or any of my other games. Um, and YouTube is just like, I, no, I'm sorry, that's not enough. He needs, he needs to specifically give you permission to, uh, 
uh, to monetize your videos, and it's like, that's dumb. But I actually haven't had to deal with that in quite some time, which is really nice. Did I forget to flip the lever? I might have. Well, we can always go back for it. At least I got a lot more HP this time around, too. And we're just gonna run for it. Um, and, like, for the most part, even, like, the old copyright trolls have, have kind of slowed down. There used to be... Oh. I was not aware that you could get these guys to move. Yeah, okay, I forgot to flip the other lever. Let's go grab. I guess I got a grappling hook for a reason. There we go, let's get this open. Okay, but, uh, but, yeah, a lot of the copyright trolls that were, like, actually legitimate problems have, for the most part, stopped. Uh, even Orchard Music, for example, has, has rolled back on it. Now they only do it with, uh, very specific games, I guess. I'm not entirely sure what the, uh... Okay, so it has to be fire. Damn it. Okay, I need another one right here. Mr. Culty Kul Shaman Man. Damn it. I assume an explosive won't do it. Yeah. Break the lava block. Can I? Doesn't look breakable. Yeah, I gotta I gotta lure a shot into this guy. It looks like. Damn it. There we go. That's all we needed. So that sets him on fire. He's gonna come after me for a second. I think he loses his... I think he loses his, uh... His heat after a moment. There we go. Feels like there's something over here. But I'm out of water. Which means I'm out of luck. Okay, next one. Okay, if we're lucky, he'll fall and crush the other guy. Yep, there he goes. Oh, and he died. Okay. And we're good. There's probably a secret I've missed. Let me see. I gotta... I gotta see what people are saying here, just in case somebody's posted stuff. I don't see the the secret here. Or did we already get it? We already got it. Unless there's another one. Does Wanda get really chatty when he's playing uh, platformers? Yes. Well, it's mainly because uh, I could kind of talk about what's going on, but um, oftentimes there's not as much of a need. Uh, so I can kind of just talk about whatever. <sighs> I'm actually really not <laughs> feeling... The soundtrack, uh, OC Remix right now, but I don't really have much of a choice. I guess I could just turn off all music. Did I really only get $37 reduce? Well, that's bleak. Oh, but I did get a bunch of cogs from that. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna turn off this, this OC Remix. Well, nope. I guess as long as people actually are voting for good stuff, I don't mind too much. Uh, let's see. I'd love to keep going for Cisterns of Mercy, get it up to five, but that's gonna be rough. Do we go HP? Do we go Lamp? I don't know. No. First off, I gotta plug in my phone. Just because. He's out of juice. Uh, let's see. More light isn't that helpful. More armor is probably good, though. Yeah, how do how do you vote for songs, seeing as uh, we've got a live audience for this one? You vote for songs by going to ocr.rainwave.cc. Um, deflects the first projectile that hits you. That's not a bad one, actually. Let's do that. That'll that'll keep some damage off for a while. Because, yeah, this... I mean, lyrics are a little bit... Bleh. But this is good. 
Okay, so let's see if I can get over here. I assume I need some kind of fire to get this guy active. Looks like that might be something I come from the backside. Maybe I get like a firepower later. Maybe like a fire explosion? I'm not sure. I used to listen to OC Remix a lot, but uh, on the topic of copyright trolls, there was uh, there was one company that was going well out of their way to oh to uh, go after OC Remix for at least a little while. It looks like that's uh, stopped, which is good, because I loved listening to OC Remix. It was like the the main thing we'd listen to while playing Scrap Mechanic, and that was always that was always kind of a nice nice experience. Just flip it on, and I mean to be fair, there was a lot of there was a lot of bad. There was a lot of bad. came and went. Blip. Well, there's a lot of good. It was fun. It's nice to kind of have just a chaos button for music for a little while. Can I... Yeah, I can. Hell yeah, I can. Doesn't look like I've got anything else around here. I like the explosive barrels. They're a bit risky. But they, uh... They're not as bad as pretty much everything else. Uh -oh. There we go. How's my water doing? Not great. We really, we really want to get that, uh, that upgrade. Uh, there's an upgrade you can get that that makes it so your your water just slowly recharges. Having that would mean I didn't even have to fight anything anymore. Yep. Did I? Nope. Okay, whatever. There is technically the benefit of, um, of I do get a small amount of money from kills with my pickaxe, but it's not really worth it. Not at this point. Not especially uh, with, like, how dangerous the enemies can be. Whereas, as far as I've run into, my rockets generally one-shot everything. Huh. There we go. I was like, there's got to be a way I can kill these guys. And or get that barrel into somewhere more convenient. It's like, oh, duh. If I'd been patient, it actually would have uh, potentially killed them. Eh, whatever. A lot of these cultists all over the place. I guess we are getting pretty close to the, uh, the temple proper. Wasn't that handy? I... What? They can... Oh. Well! That worked out. Yeah, apparently they can survive falls, but they can also shoot vertically. I was not aware of that, but it also didn't matter too much. We just kind of destroyed... Uh, we kind of destroyed them anyway. Let's knock this over. Let's see. Will I play more SteamWorld Heist? Probably not. I like SteamWorld Heist a lot, but I already beat the game, so, like, my desire to play SteamWorld Heist again is kind of iffy. And yeah, I should probably, I should probably take off the, uh, Hobo King, because it has not been, um, helpful in some time. Come on. Drop down. Oh, Aramid Armor got him. Not the explosion. I gotta say, Aramid armor is pretty handy. Let's see, missing anything else? Not really. We've got this over here, and we've got a fair amount of money. So yeah, let's let's go back. We're getting pretty close, and yeah, let's let's lose Hobo King because it's not helpful. Yeah, this is the music I want to. This is the music I want to listen to. Kind of not like fully atmospheric stuff, but stuff that definitely is. Easier li listening. Uh, do I go for Acid Bomb? Well, we've no, we don't have Sky Assailant. Shatter even more rocks than before. That's kind of tempting, actually. Yeah, let's let's go for Acid Bomb. Uh, let's see. So where's Hobo King? Hobo King's out here. Because yeah, at this point, I don't think I'm gonna make much of anything from that. Should probably go back to working on the pickaxe. But yeah, let's get Buster shells. I've got two more. Faster from pools. Summoner. 
extra light orbs, dodging falling rocks and similar death traps. Don't care too much about falling damage, lose less resources when you die. I'll get the magnetic separator for lack of anything else. It would be cool if I could get an upgrade that uh, switches my uh, my power to to lava based. It'd be really cool to just pop in the lava and just be like, alright, this is mine now. Oh, fire like... Oh, dude, it'd be great if I could fire like lava shots. That would be like the most badass thing ever. Unlikely, but it would be... Uh... Yeah, no, it would just be badass. Okay, let's see what that does. This didn't really destroy anything extra. I thought my upgrade was supposed to destroy a bunch of blocks. Maybe... Maybe we're just underpowered? Well, bye, dude. Okay, yeah, that, that magnetism upgrade is... Uh, it's probably helpful. Um, damn it. There we go. Did he? He just killed himself. Hmm. Should probably go back up and around, shouldn't I? I like it when the enemies just kind of randomly die off camera. Makes my job a lot easier. Let's destroy that one there. And let's go down over here. Grab these without taking damage. Okay, there we go. If you look in the map, you miss something in Baby's First Mind. I already got it. I already got it. It was not actually something that, uh... That is missable. Uh, or more per se, you can't get it until you have uh, more upgrades. I already, I already went back for it at this point. Uh, I assume you're pulling that from the first couple of videos that I've been, uh, been to. Yeah, let's not be anywhere close to that. N nope, we don't have a. Uh... For a second, I thought we already had uh, another pneumatic tube, and I'm like, really? They're just laying them on thick. But no, they're not. Oh, I'm out of water. Uh, at this point, I'm just getting rid of... At this point, I'm just getting rid of barrels because I can. Um, Jeez, there's not much I can do about that. Not really a whole lot of reason to stick around that barrel either. I guess let's head for the cave. Usually caves have an amount of uh, water in them anyway. Not the Temple of Guidance if that's what you're referencing. Okay, I, I'll double check things later. What happens if I hit, hold the edge of these? Okay. Ow. Now there's something over here. Well, instead of doing this correctly, I could just grappling hook my way over everything, or die very slowly. Huh. I kind of don't like this place. This place sucks. At least the grappling hook has like a little bit of a grace period that you can you can use here. Here we go. This place really does suck. Wow. I uh might not survive this one. Half a heart. Is that the end of it? Are we are we lucky duck? We are the luckiest duckling. That is about to die. Uh... So there is a um
There's a mineable point somewhere around here. A whole bunch of it, really. Okay, we'll have to redo the whole thing in a second. Watch there be yet more death here. Nope. Okay. And now we go back for secrets. Sorta. Unfortunately, death probably approaches. Well, nothing. Okay. Well, I don't lose any resources for it, but I do not have enough health to... health to get what I want. I should probably go back to town. Because I do not... I do not have the HP for any kind of shenanigans here. Nuts. Could just destroy that. We'd be golden. I... No! Balls! <laughs> 